Hello Virgo, welcome back to Triple Water Truth. My name is Lynn and today I'm going to do your reading for August. Um, see what is um, going on with you guys, where you're at, what's coming up, and what the messages are uh, for you today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with your main energy and then go from there and then we'll look at your past energy why it's influencing your current energy and then future outcome and then we get the last messages from the oracle cards okay so virgo where is your energy right now where are you at what is going on What do you need to know for August? Four of Blades, okay. And why the Four of Blades or Four of Swords? Why the Four of Swords? We're here in healing. Taking a step back. Resting. Oh, okay. Because of Seven of Blades. So, Virgo. Let me get more information on this. I'm already sensing this um, energy of somebody trying to get away with something. Or maybe even deception. And you were hurt by this. Um, get more information. Emperor. Why the Emperor? Three of Coins. And then let's look at your past energy and then we'll put this together, okay? Alright, Four of Wands. Past energy. Or past position by the four of wands. Ooh, tower. Ooh, geez. Okay. Whew. All right. So let's start with the four of blades. So from your current energy, um, you have had to, yeah, take a step back retreat, maybe even disappear for a little bit, take a break, pause, um, and because of the tower energy, there was something that happened, something big that you've had to deal from. Uh, there was a turning point, something that you found out about someone. And it was a disaster, I'm hearing. It was a disaster. So right now you are in the place of healing or at least getting away from that kind of chaotic energy, retreating back to yourself and kind of, you know, taking a breather and trying to refocus, right? Basically picking up the pieces and rebuilding again. So you're right now you are rebuilding yourself and trying to understand what happened, right, in the past. So the Seven of Blades or Seven of Swords is explaining why you are, you've had to retreat and why you are in the healing mode. Basically, you know, 
I'm seeing just you going into a cave where it's dark, when it's warm and it's safe. Um, putting a bunch of rocks in front of it so that no one else, no one can get in without permission. So you basically close the door on your heart so that no one else can get in and basically hurt you again or hurt you even more. So you're very, very protective. It's almost like because the four of four of um, swords, right? The healing energy, but at the same time, it's like a part of you died because you're showing a tombstone with the swords basically um, around it. So it's almost like, yeah, there was a part of you that died when when that situation ended because it was devastating for you. And it just it brought you a lot of pain and it made you question so many things and you just didn't feel safe anymore and you just didn't feel secure about anything. So you retreated um, and you closed that door on your heart and you locked it and no one no one can get in right now but that's actually good because in order for you to heal you cannot be disturbed right um just have to be left alone um until you're ready to come out or until you're ready for someone else to to come in and basically until it's safe right um, to open that door, either to come out or to let someone else in. Um, the seven of blades or seven of um, seven of swords could explain what happened with the tower in the past, and this is what I'm getting. Okay, there was a deception, um, either. Some, either somebody wasn't being honest with you. They may have hid something from you and you found out about it. And that's what basically turned your world upside down. That's when the tower crumbled. Um, or somebody was doing something. Might even be cheating. It might be, you know, uh, they portray themselves as something that they're not. But you found out about it and that's pretty much what, yeah. That was the destruction of that foundation, which was weak. It's just that you just, you didn't know. And you know, even if you had suspicions that things were just not adding up. Um, you didn't really want to believe it because you know you were not ready to face the possibility that your situation or connection or relationship um, was a lie because this person was lying the whole time about who they are or their faithfulness to you. So, I mean, this deception can be a lot of things. Um, and yeah, it could be some cheating going on, um, unfaithfulness. So yeah, that just destroyed you. And that's why you had to go into um, You had to go into hiding mode, basically. Uh, find a cave, get in, lock the door, and wait until it's safe to come out or to let someone else in. So right now, um, yeah, there's your ability to trust is very low because of what happened, because your trust was broken. And the Four of Wands, 
was yeah this basically had to do with um your connection or your relationship you thought everything was fine you thought everything was great you thought you guys you thought you know this person was happy you were happy or at least going along for the ride things were stable uh you know harmonious and for some of you you even you know thought that this was going to lead to a higher commitment um especially if you've been together for a while so yeah and then and then you found out what you found out about this person and that's yeah that's when the tower crumbled and that's when things just fell apart and that's what led you to where you are now which is you're in your you're in healing mode you're in you know <laughs> leave me <laughs> leave me the freak alone mode right which i don't blame you um because of the seven of blades because of this deception um so the emperor is basically this energy of you taking back control right so because you felt like um it was almost like the rug was pulled right under you and you were not prepared for what happened um you felt like you lost a lot of control in that situation um, and looking back now, there were things that, yeah, they were signs, they were red flags, but because you ignore them or you didn't want to see them, um, that's what led to this outcome. So now you're like, screw that. I am taking back control of my life. So... You know, right now, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to see people. I'm just going to focus on me. And if I have to cry all day and all week, I'm going to do it. If I don't want to answer my phone, if I don't want to respond to anybody's, you know, text messages, I'm not going to. And you know what? I don't feel like explaining myself to anyone because I am pissed off. And I honestly don't give a shit right now. And this is this is a part of your healing um, where basically you have every right to not be disturbed. And yeah, you're you're constantly reminded of what happened and how this person just betrayed your trust. Now, this doesn't have to be limited to, you know, relationships. This could also be about um, maybe a work situation or maybe, you know, a family situation or a, a friendship where, yeah, you thought you knew them, you thought you could trust them, but they did something um, that betrayed you and, yeah, it just made you question so many things. Um, so, yeah, you, you're taking back your power, you're taking back control. And right now you're like, uh, if I don't feel like dealing with people, I'm not dealing with people and I don't care what they say. I don't give a shit, right? That's good because you're standing your ground. Um, what I'm also getting is uh, with the Emperor card, you could also be dealing with um, an Aries or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the three of coins came out um, to clarify the emperor. And the three of coins has to do with um, using your skills or gifts and sharing that 
with others or collaborating with others um, to create something. So this can be, you know, work related, business related. It can be, you know, a creative venture. But what it boils down to is that before, right, you kind of relied on others uh, for, for love and support, for company. For some of you, um, you're always surrounded by people. But now um, you're basically, because of the emperor energy, you're like, look, everyone's starting to look the same. And I just, I really don't feel like dealing with people. So this is kind of like your way of, you know, not really looking at people individually, but looking at people more as, you know, just an entire entity that you'd rather avoid. That's what I'm getting. Um, and if you do work with people or deal with people, um, this is only um, work or, or job related or just kind of project related and that's it. Um, everything else, you're basically just keeping a safe distance from anything that, you know, has to do with getting close to people. So I hope that makes sense, Virgo, uh, because that's what I'm getting with the three of uh, pentacles, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the future outcome. What's gonna happen here? Oh, okay. Ace, oh. <laughs> Ace of blades and two of cups, okay. So things are gonna look up for you, Virgo. Um, once you have healed, once you've given yourself um, enough time to just, you know, basically be left alone, be in solitude, um, you know, give yourself that self-love and self-care, um, restore yourself because some of you feel like, you know, you just kind of were left to pieces. Uh, you were destroyed because of what happened and some of you felt like you're never going to be able to put yourself back um, whole again but you will um, by allowing yourself to just you know be a hermit I mean that's you know the Virgo card the hermit retreat hide lock the door whatever you have to do turn your phone off whatever you have to do to, to to get that focus back to yourself and what you need to recover and recharge and be 100% again. Um, so with the Ace of Blades, basically you're gonna get clarity on what happened and you're also gonna get more clarity. You're gonna get the truth and you're gonna understand why it had to happen. Because if that hadn't happened, right? If you hadn't found out about the deception or the truth about your situation or person, um, you would still continue to um, have that person in your life, right? And, and, and continue to be deceived and continue to trust and, you know, invest your time um, with somebody that, that didn't even care about you all along. And they were just playing with your emotions and, you know, maybe even using you. So even though that hurt like hell, but that actually forced you to detach from that person. And that also forced you to find out who this person really is. So that pain was necessary for, for that person to be removed from your life. 
and make room for a new connection, Virgo. Yep, two of cups. Um, if this person is already in your life, you probably don't know it yet. Or you may not recognize this person as somebody that um, you're connecting with or have a new connection with. Um, but that will be revealed in time um, when you've healed and you've let go of the past and you've forgiven and you're ready, right, to connect and trust again. You've opened your door and you've come out and you're also ready to invite someone in. And when that happens, when you let someone in through your door, through your cave and through your heart, this is this person, this new connection. So yeah, um, sometimes, you know, you have to go through pain, right? To find new love, a new connection. Um, and sometimes you have to go through pain in order for the universe to remove someone that is toxic and um, should not be in your life. But the outcome is worth it because you are going to get something better. So yeah, this is beautiful. Um, so it is gonna work out in the end, Virgo. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the final messages and final advice. So, um, romance angels. So let me go ahead and kind of um, follow up in the two of cups, this new connection um, coming up. All right, so what's your final advice about this new connection? coming for Virgo or this new connection that Virgo is going to discover um, through somebody that they already know. What is your final advice? Mm, okay. Um, ooh, nice. Okay. So the bottom of the deck for the first oracle, um, it says, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So yes, um, well, you did. You're already doing that with the, with the emperor energy. Um, you deciding uh, you want to be left alone. You deciding to not let anyone in. You deciding when you're going to come out and you deciding how much time you're going to need until you're ready, right, to um, trust again. So yeah, you're freeing yourself um, by listening to yourself and listening to, to your intuition, your heart, your body, and what it needs to be whole again. So you're already doing that. The card that came out for you is keep an open mind. Your soulmate, ooh, soulmate, yep, that confirms the two of cups. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So yeah, this person may not be somebody that you normally go for, whether in looks or personality or, you know, um, even like social demographic. <laughs> They may basically they may not be your type, but because of your connection, you are going to look past that because your connection is going to be real and genuine. And honestly, the rest of that stuff is not going to matter. Um, all right, so that is the first oracle. All right, so again, let's go ahead and get the second oracle message from the wisdom of the oracle. What is your final message for Virgo for their situation?
put your final message for Virgo. Ooh, no place like home. Yeah, no place like your cave, right? Where you're safe and sound and nobody can bother you. So just off the top of my head uh, for no place like home, um, by you retreating and stepping back and, you know, taking a break, distancing yourself and creating a safe place for you where you decide, right? When you're going to open the door and come out and you also decide who gets to go to come in. Um, you're also creating a place where no matter what happens around you, no matter, you know, how bad things get or overwhelming things get, you're always going to have that place in you inside, right? Where you can retreat and recharge and recuperate and feel safe. So you're always going to have that um, grounded center no matter what happens, okay? So that's kind of like what I'm picking up so far on um, No Place Like Home. So let me go ahead and grab um, the guidebook to see what their message is for you. So number 50, uh, No Place Like Home. Let's see, oh, here we go. Okay, so number 50. So basically, no place like home has to do with authenticity, coming home to yourself. Yes, isn't that what I, isn't that what I just talked about, right? Finding a place within yourself, going within and creating a safe place for you where no matter what happens, right? Um, it won't phase you. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. It won't phase you. Um, feeling at home, arriving in a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. So here's your message. Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together, you add to the love of the world. So what I'm really getting is this is really about your relationship to yourself, right? This is really about you no longer um, depending on um, what's outside of you right, to give you that love and support. No longer relying on other people to give you that love and support. This time around, you're actually going within and you're giving that to yourself. You are making yourself your top priority, right? Every Everyone else will just have to get in line, right? And take a number because you are the number one person in your life right now. And this is why and how you're healing, okay? So no place like home means, you know what? <laughs> no one can ever take anything from you that you haven't willingly given up, right? I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But... Is basically essentially whatever it is that you seek from others you already have it within you right all you have to do is just go within and realize that all the love and comfort and safety and trust and support in the world really comes from you and that way you don't have to rely on others or you don't, you don't have to seek it outside of you to feel it because it's already within you. So I hope that makes sense, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. Um, otherwise, I hope this helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed the video, 
please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.